Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. And yes, I'm in a very sticky situation, which is not so great. Well, technically speaking, I was not here for blazes. I was here for ancient debris. But then I was like, if you're digging, you might as well dig to a dungeon which has blazes as well. I think I have taken enough damage. We just go back. Anywho, over here, we should have a few ancient debris when I was mining the tunnel. Just the one. And the first one. Why is it always just the one? Aha. Uh -huh. More. I have been mining. And we have a guest who is stuck. Maybe not that much. Did we get the tier? Yes. Literally, all I wanted. Our adventuring in the nether is over and yes, you might notice that I have been busy in between the episodes. The end of last episode was December, now we're at March. We have a few chickens who are giving us eggs, therefore we would be able to make bread. We have an extra blast furnace which is making us steel. And obviously the entire reason that I have been mining for a very long time, the foundry. I had no idea this is a functionality of Tinkers, but apparently if you put an iron chunk inside a foundry, you get a byproduct. For some reason, I really love byproducts. And yes, I have been mining a lot. You just put the ores in and you get all the byproducts. It's amazing. I think the smeltery should have done that as well. I'm not sure. Anyways, that was ore processing, but the reason that we went to the nether was something very important. Manulin. Now that we are at age 2, the health of mobs have been increased and therefore they're incredibly difficult to kill. My cleaver at this moment does 11.69. <laughs> <laughs> damage? <laughs> I didn't know that. But with manulin, we should be able to deal far more damage, and that's what I want. As usual, I'm not really great with the new tinkers. Uh, I have disabled the ice, but it still freezes over. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not really great with the new tinkers, but it seems that in order to process manulin as well as hepatizen, we're gonna need blazing blood. So hence, we have a few blaze mesh. Yes, that gives us 18 ingots. <laughs> It's a very weird measurement system for fluids. Anyways, I think we should be able to put it in a bucket. So how many ingots is one bucket? Ew, can you melt that? Oh, I need one more blaze rod. I'll be right back. This time I got a hit. Ladies and gentlemen, the manulin blade. It's not a huge increase, I do admit that. Uh, what other parts can we change? Not that many. It's fine, but I think we should also be able to have an extra modifier by having a head. Yes. As for the other tools, we're going to upgrade the heads with hepatizen. Aha, so that was my bad. You don't need hepatizen for the head. You need it for the handle. It's like the functionality of cobalt in 1.12 has been split between cobalt itself and hepatizen. So this is fine by me. I have replaced all the handles with hepatizen. I added netherite. The tools are just amazing. Netherite adds to mining speed, durability, and in case of the cleaver, extra damage. And I was just down here for some testing. Oh, and by the way, uh, I found a gold bag backpack in a chest. Didn't know you can do that. That's actually a great find because yeah, we can't make it. Well, now that I have gas tears, we can. But you know, I have done so much work off camera and now we need to do a lot more on camera. We must set up a few automations from Create before we would be able to progress any further. Uh, so I have gathered a bunch of goodies. We have a few more water wheels, I have a rotational speed controller, and we're going to set up a very small automation for cogs. The thing is, if you want to make the gears manually, this is the recipe, the yield is not great, but if you make them like so, the yield is awesome. Not awesome, but at least we will get a ton. So I believe for the small cog, it was just buttons and then planks. And we have to do this four times. Obviously, we just need a lot of gears. Each recipe is going to give us 12 gears, so that is a lot of gears. That is nice. And to be honest with you, it's not that great. Fine, we can always make more. Can you go faster? No, this might look like a lot of gears, but I can assure you, it's actually not that much. Uh, these 60 are only going to give us 5 precision mechanisms. And precision mechanism is very important for us today because we need it in order to make a lot of mechanical crafters. And the big gears are the expensive ones because, you know, you need the wooden large plate. That is almost 8 planks. I think we have enough material in order to make 30 precision mechanism. Uh, let's try that. It's not the fastest thing, eh? Because of the press, we're working at 32 RPM. Just in case you're wondering what the hell is it that we are trying to do, we're going to need 25 mechanical crafters so that we would be able to make the steam engine and generate large amount of stress capacity. In this mod pack, the windmill from Create is disabled and water wheels are just garbage. Also, it seems I have done a miscalculation. We have plenty of resources left. So maybe instead of 30, we can have 45? Well, the first badge is ready. Let's get our crafters. It took me ages, but I think we should have enough. That is 24. We need one more set. Thank you. We get our crafters. And now it's time to start working on the engine. And every recipe is different. Awesome. So the first item that we're going to craft is going to be the boiler or the burning chamber. I don't think we have enough stress capacity to run the crafters, but let us see. Of course we don't. We turn you off. Yeah, now it's crafting. 
I am going to try and make as many sets as I can. Um, for the moment, maybe two. Well, actually, these are a pain to craft. Maybe we should craft four of them. Come on, give it to me. Lovely. Yeah, I think we're going to go with four of them anyways. Because I don't think they're going to give us a generator anytime soon. Can't you work faster? It's just crafting. Oh, come on. We have four sets of boilers. Now we need the other parts. Uh, the engine first. This one is incomplete, so I think we need a redstone signal. My bad. We need to reconnect it. Thank you. Come on, I just need to repeat this process three more times. We have the burning chamber, we have the steam engine, we have four wheels, and now we're making the actual boiler. As usual, that was the first one, and we need to make three more. And I'm almost out of resources, copper, zinc, iron, everything. All I'm saying is that even though the recipes don't look very complicated, they're very expensive. But in any case, the final one. And I can take a nap. We are not going to set up an engine room right now because these guys require a lot of fuel. At least that is my assumption. But let us give it a try and see how it works. Here is the chamber. I believe the boiler goes on top. Okay. We need to extract the steam. Then we need the engine itself. And if I'm not wrong, the wheel? Probably. Oh, and by the way, we need to provide it with water, but we have the urn of endless waters. That should fill it in automatically with water. That is my hope. That was in the description. That was not in the description? Infinite water jar that tries to fill everything it sees. You don't see my boiler. You don't even give me water. It's fine. I just want to see how much fuel is it going to consume. So we're getting steam. We need to pump it out the other way. Yeah, I don't think this was meant to be done by hand. Okay, it's turning. Lovely. So since the urn is not filling up the boiler itself, do you at least fill in a tank? You're not very smart. No, it doesn't even work with a tank. Before we can progress any further into technology, we need to do a bit of magic. But I did realize there is a recipe for some sort of a creative flight using a chest plate. And hopefully I did not mess up the recipe. And this is correct. Oh, it was correct. Lovely. I'm assuming you're going to need fuel. So can I fly? Oh, it's like a jetpack. A bit finicky. Uh, do we have a glider? I should have kept the umbrella. If we enchant you, unbreaking is nice. Mana regen, not the best. Yeah, hopefully my mending guy is alive. Yes, thank you. I thought we'd do the enchantment one more time and this time we got protection four. That's good. Now we can put the mending. With the crazy amount of mining that I did in between the episodes and also during this episode, I was sure that I don't really need to go mining for another two or three episodes. That plan went amazing. I'm sure that I had almost around 1200 iron and now I'm back down to, I don't know, like 50? Anyways, I need to gather... Hello, beautiful. What do you drop? Uh, these are great. The problem is that uh, they lose durability. Maybe not this one. Yeah, this one is not losing durability. Oh, it has durability. Huh. Well, we will see anyways. Let me mine. I'll see you right back. I'm back and yes, it has been a while. I'm not gonna lie to you, but it does seem that we got a ton of resources. It's gonna take ages for them to be converted into ingots, but uh, that's a decent amount of mining. Anyways, we need to get into magic a bit because I need a few items from Botania and everything is locked. So, soul soil, the shards, the heart. Yes, we get the soul heart and this is where silk touch would have been useful because... These are expensive. Also, I was reading the quest about the urn and yes, it seems it only works with cauldrons and the petal apothecary. So this is like the ever full urn if it was made in 1940. Oh, I had an extra crucible. I wasted resources. We need to jump between a few mods at the same time. So I'm very sorry if it's going to be confusing, but what we need to do is that we first need to make the magic workbench because we need it in order to make the resonating wand. And this is why I needed soul fire and the gas tier. I'm not really sure if we are going to need the dark gem a lot, but here is the one. You cannot shift click the recipe, but I think this was it. Yes. Resonating wand. Give me crystals. Oh, right over there. Hello, boys. Are you having fun? I'm gone. I found it. Rock crystal. No achievement. Oh, there is an achievement, but not a quest. I did find another rock crystal, but I'm assuming, yeah, it's daytime now. Well, that means we can go on a very small adventure and get our crafting table. Oh, constellation papers. Nice. Another thing is, uh, this is taking a while. Oh, it's blocked. My bad. Are we good? Yes. When I said that we are going to switch between mods a lot and it's going to get confusing, I was not thinking about create. Now we have to switch between more mods because one of the things that we need is a chromatic compound. Well, not just the one, a lot. I really love the engines because of the steam, uh, but yeah. They're not that different from the normal engine. The only important thing is you need 192 RPM just to fill in the tanks with water. Yeah, you see, it's stable. But if you go to 128, it's gonna drop. 
Whoa. Anywho, one thing that you should remember is that for the moment we can't run this constantly because it does consume a ton of fuel. But that is actually one of the main reasons that I want to get into Botania because we want to make a kelp farm. Also, don't tell anyone because I have made a small boo-boo, because you can crush obsidian using a millstone, not like that. Like this? Yes. I thought you need crushing wheels and you need a lot of stress capacity. This is not going to be that difficult. I made the cake base. However, instead of filling it with lava, which would have made this so much easier, you need to fill it with blazing blood. Okay, good. We have more than one bucket. We have an extra spout. And I'm really hoping we can just do this with a bucket. Can I? Oops, nope. Oh, please don't tell me I have to pump it in. I go get a pump. Actually, you don't need to have a pump. All you need is a tank, a faucet. Wait a minute, you don't go in anything. <laughs> Fine by me. We are going to use a different tank and the faucet. Now it should work. Yes. So if I give you the cake, you're going to fill it in. That is perfect. Well, we don't have a lot. Only five. I'm sorry this is loud, I can't turn it off for some reason. But for the moment we should be able to have five chromatic compound, not because of the cake, because of obsidian. Do we get it? Yeah, thank you. For some reason you're not a quest. Ah, this one is. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how this works, but either we're not allowed to have a beacon or beacon is locked behind something. So if we want to make the refined radiance, we have to use glowstone, which is going to be a more expensive method. And yes, I use my nether star in order to make an infinity wand. Place is nine blocks. So we drop you down, you should absorb the glowstone. Are you absorbing? Well, you're doing something. Yes, you're doing something. That is good. Do something. How many do you need? I'm almost out. I got it. Thank you. We convert the rest as well. We need refined radiance in order to make the radiant casing, obviously. Because first things first, we need it for the light well and also the runic altar. I think I have finished everything relatively on time because it's night time. And what we need to do? is to make a light well. Never mind. I have not checked the fuel of the jetpack, so this could go horribly wrong. But we should be able to craft our light well. Thank you, that was fast. The second one, thank you again, and we're gone. Oh, it's not creative flight. Like, this is why we should never play hardcore. I kill myself more often than anybody else. You know, I need to make the starlight crafting altar. And for that, I need living wood from Botania. It's so entangled, which needs infused wood, which needs refined radiance. Holy. But at least we're on the right track. Therefore, it is the next morning for me. Let us get started. That should give us infused wood, hopefully. Is it? Oh, it takes time. Okay, then do your thing. In the meantime, we should be able to make our petal apothecary one day. Thank you. So do you work as in the... Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Lovely. So it's four petals, one refined radiance and one seed. Thank you. So for living rock, we are going to need the smooth stone bricks from Eidolon. And living wood is just infused wood. Wait a minute. That was fast. How was it so fast? This is the recipe for the runic altar. And I can assure you, this is much more complicated than it looks. Because eh, you see, it's not cheap. If we manage to get it by today, I consider that quite an achievement. Do we have enough starlight? Yes. We can have our mana pool. Thank you. Are you kidding me? I can't make a lens. I don't really want to miss the night. Damn. It's fine. We get them. It's midnight. Come on. Yeah, that's really not going to work. It's fine. The least we can do is to use our time productively and hunt for rock crystals. I just need so many of them. Well, we are almost at build height. It's almost midnight and this is not working. I can try to make a fossil resonator. The problem is this. You need carmonite. So what do we do? I have no idea. Maybe we should just upgrade the altar. If that doesn't work, we go to the twilight forest. I'm not sure if a better altar is going to have a better reception or not, but we're going to make some sooty marble. And yes, these are blocks of cold coke. And I don't think we need any other parts. Oh my goodness, that's never gonna happen. Because you know, the lens was up to here and we couldn't fill that in. A linking tool is out of the question. What do we do? <laughs> We go to the twilight forest, I guess. Do you remember when I said that if we get the runic altar, I consider that quite an achievement? Change of plans. If we get to the twilight forest, I consider that quite an achievement. The thing is, you don't open it with a diamond, you open it with this crystal. It does require a few bits and bobs that we don't have, and crimson fungus is the least of our worries. Oh, come on. You scared me. I hate you. And I do need gas tears. Come on. Die. He dropped four. Aha. Uh -huh. Then I think we're good. We can go home. I'm waiting for this netherite to grow, which has grown apparently. We're good. But in the meantime, I have made some pure sulfur. We need to make more soul gems. Then we need this refined crimson. That's why we needed nether wart. Thank you. And I think that's it. That was the final step. So one diamond, two redstone blocks, one refined crimson. No, two refined crimson, soul shards, ash, the gas tier. Yes. 
we have the crystal. That should be able to open the portal for us. We need some flowers. Carmonite from the Twilight Forest does have a recipe in order to craft it, but I'm assuming the first one you have to find. Because uh, you need the Rune of Wrath and the Rune of Fire in order to craft it. And I can't even make a mana spreader, so this should work, I think. Lovely. Wait a minute. You didn't count. <laughs> Why? I can't make the lens. Uh-oh. I swear to all the gods, I cannot make the lens. I thought we tried the lens again, but I don't think anything is going to change. Why would it? Well, we have time till midnight, but it's not increasing. Yeah, I don't think it is. It's almost midnight. Yeah, this didn't work. Well, these are very desperate times. Nope, here is worse. Here is amazing. Maybe this is an area with a high concentration of starlight? Yeah, maybe we don't need to have the fossic resonator, we just have to get lucky. Uh, my chest plate. Well, let us see if it's high enough. Nope. Also, this is no longer midnight, so we're getting less starlight. Yeah, it's almost morning. But I'm guessing this is an area with high concentration of starlight, and we're going to try it the next night. It is the next night, and I do have a feeling that we're doing good. This was a very lucky find. Literally by accident. Yes, it worked. We can have a lens. Thank you. Let's get two of them. Actually, as many as we can. I do have two more crystals. Oh, we make the telescope. More lenses. And I think I can have one more lens. We're out of rock crystal. But now we should be able to also upgrade the altar. No, 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 no. Don't do that to me. We're missing like one pixel. That's one pixel. And since that one pixel is not really moving, we go a bit higher, but yeah, it's still not working. What if I move it a bit? Oh, that works. Yes. It works. I just moved it by five blocks. Thank you. I have no idea why suddenly it started snowing, but uh, yeah, I'm waiting for the next night. Oh, it's a stormy night. Anyways, we're going to need some illumination powder. We convert some of that into the nocturnal powder, maybe a bit more. Well, that is all I can afford at this very moment. Also, we want to have two mana spreaders. Come on, you can do this. Perfection. We don't have anything else to do. We just sleep and go down. I think it's going to take a few days in game until we would be able to make the runic altar. So in the moment, let us gather some mana because I am going to need four more lenses in order to make the runic altar. You see, you need four relays and also this mana pearl, which uh, we have to figure out how to make. However, that's actually not the worst part. In order to make an end of flame, uh, this is the recipe. Blocks of cold coke and a furnace. Oh, it's four blocks per end of flame. That's quite a bit. I have no idea how many times I've pressed it. This is still sending items. Well, thankfully, the recipe for the floral fertilizer was not changed. We can have our endo flames. And I think this is the correct ratio. So it's four coal coke, the usual petals, a furnace, and one seed. Yes. And we just do the right click thingy. Too many items. If I get the usual eight, which it seems we can, I'll be very happy. Well, if we get more coal coke, we can make more. Yeah much better. We can have 10. The setup is going to be the exact garbage thing that I always make, meaning that we're going to have a pressure plate, a torch, a block, a dropper, and one open crate. And just a button to make things easier. Uh, mana spreaders. If I have not done anything wrong, we should get a decent supply of mana until I can find some crystals. And I think when I was looting, I also managed to find a lotus. Uh, let's use that one too. Oh, I have two. Lovely. Amazing amount of mana. I know. And this is the part where I'm not exactly sure. We need to do a ritual from Eidolon and uh, the result is not very clear. In order to make the mana pearl, what we need to do is to have an illumination powder, nocturnal powder, some ender pearls. I think. I'm not sure. Are you gonna do something? Okay, it worked. It should give us a very special pearl, yes. Well, technically speaking, we just need the one for the runic altar, but let's make more. Do we have enough mana? Yes. Now I just need rock crystals. Well, last night I did manage to find three rock crystals, but it's not enough. We need way more. And I just have to wait for night time again. You know, the combination with the jetpack and water is just amazing. Also, if you remember, I have Depth Strider. I don't know if it's doing something as well. But we have everything we need. I'm just looking for some aquamarine. If you take my food, I'm gonna kill you. Good. I'm telling you, lenses are the worst. But we are finally in business. Let's make them. We can get some relays. That should give me the runic altar. Yes, <laughs> finally. Did I want to make something else? Probably not. As far as I understood everything, the recipe for the ruins itself has not been changed. So this should be relatively easy. We just need some mana powder. Oh, a nether wart. You know, for the rune of fire. Thank you. And we have all four basic ruins. Perfect. Oh, the whole reason that I'm trying to do this is that I want my sash. I really want it. And we also need to have... Oh my goodness. So basically, I need... Eight mana pearls, just to make a band. 
I thought maybe you're going to, okay, at least we get these as a reward. I have been a relatively wise person and when we were at the temple, I made two crafting tables. So hopefully we don't really have to travel that far. We can just make some nocturnal powder because I'm out. Come on, you can do this, please. Yes, I think this should be the final one. Yep. Now we have to make the lovely journey to our altar. So we shall have our mana tablet. Thank you. The band of mana. Thank you even more. And thankfully I did not put away the ruins so I can have also my sash. Oh, we have to craft this. Come on. You can give me my sash. Perfection. Oh my goodness, this is so much nicer. We can finally run like a normal human. And we have step assist. Amazing. But I personally think the runic altar itself was a huge milestone. Not the sash. The sash is kind of my bonus. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye-bye.